In this tutorial, we'll see how we can handle an exception, a SOAP fault exception, which is actually from by the provider, but we will handle that the consumer side in the cloud. I expect that you already have this available a calculator service, and you also have made the consuming of this. So let's open NetBeans. And we can see we have the add method here and the division method here as before. We can also see if we run the program with 5 and 7, and I get the sum 12, and I get the division 0. So the question is now what will happen if I divide by 0 and run it? Now, if I do this, you can see I actually get a soap fault exception slash by zero, which actually means division by zero. But that might uh, very often uh, be enough that you don't want to do more. But if you want to do more, then uh, you should do like this. Go in here for the division, add froze soap fault exception. And when you have done that, we will uh, try to catch it up here. What you would do with it if you want to make something very simple, you just say so print out something like division and uh, just get the message here from it from the exception object. And we have something I can use here, for example. So now I should actually catch the soap fault exception. Notice that I do it up here. I don't do it down in the code here, which is actually automatically generated. So it would be a little bit stupid to go in here. There's also a problem when you have a return here. And if you do it inside a try catch, what shall I return after the try catch? So therefore it's better to throw it. And let's see what happens now. Run it. And voila, then we can say it says division by zero here exactly as we wanted. I could have added more with the parameters and so on, but I didn't do that. So I think that is all about how to handle exception. Notice that there's only thrown one exception from the void, and it's always called a soap fault exception and nothing else. So you actually don't know really what went on. You have to look at what is it you actually are consuming and how you consume it. So I think uh, that is all for today. I wish you good luck with further web service programming and you can make it a little bit more advanced with some GUIs and so on. But that is not the scope of these lessons here. So bye bye for now.